In this video, you're going to learn how to prepare and file the Arizona Corporation's form called the LLC Statement of Change of Known Place of Business Address so you can notify the ACC that an Arizona LLC changed its Arizona address. We are Arizona Limited Liability Company attorneys who have formed more than 5,800 LLCs. We created a series of videos that demonstrate how to use the Arizona Corporation Commission's website to search company names, complete ACC forms, and use the Corporation Commission's eCorp services and online filing system. Please like this video and don't forget to subscribe. If you have comments or questions about LLCs, I'll put them in the comments section below. Now let me demonstrate how you prepare the change of address form. So first we got to enter the URL information and it take you to the Corporation Commission's change of address form. Now the first thing we got to do is download the form. So I'm going to do save page as then go up to my little down arrow in Firefox, click on it, and tell it to open the form. Now I have the Corporation Commission's statement of change of known place of business address saved on my local computer. And so when I'm filling it out, I'm actually filling it out on my computer, not on the internet. And you'll notice near the top of the form, it says read the instructions, and then it has a hot link to LO2OI. If you want to see the Corporation Commission's written instructions, then click on that link. Now the first thing we need to do in filling out the form is enter the entity name, your LLC name, in item number one. Notice that it says you must give the exact name of the LLC as currently shown on the ACC records. Now if you're not sure exactly what the LLC's name is, then you need to do a search of the Corporation Commission's database to confirm the name of your LLC. If you're not sure of your LLC's exact name, watch our demo video called How to Do an Arizona Business Name Search for Existing LLCs. This demonstration video is found at the link displayed on the screen. You can also go to the show more area underneath this video and click on the text show more and it'll give you a hot link to our demonstration video on how to search for the business name of an existing Arizona LLC. Let's fill out the form. The first thing you need to do is enter in item number one entity name the exact name of your LLC. In item number two, this is where you enter in the new physical or street address, not a post office box, of the known place of business in Arizona. Note that if you enter a post office box, the Corporation Commission is going to reject the change of name filing. Arizona Corporation Commission does not allow Arizona LLCs to use a post office box for their known place of business in Arizona. So enter the address of your company and then scroll down all the way to the bottom, put a check mark in the I accept box and then above the text that says printed name, enter the name of the person who's going to be signing the document. Then over to the right above the text date. Enter the actual date that the document's going to be signed. Note you need to have the four digit year 2018 rather than a two digit year. Now, underneath, you'll see where it says required. You have three options, and what you fill in here depends on whether the company is member managed or manager managed. So, you can ignore the statutory agent box because you're not changing the statutory agent. So the box you select depends on whether the person above who's signing is signing as a member of the company or a manager of the company. So if the person signing 
is signing as a member, then put a check in the box that says, I am a member of this member managed LLC. If the person signing above is a manager, then put a check in the box that says, I am the individual manager of the manager managed LLC. Now, if the person signing is signing as an officer, director, member, or manager of another company, then enter underneath where you check the box, enter the name of the other company. That's it. Now you need to print the document and submit it with your cover sheet. Now notice at the bottom it gives you filing instructions uh, and where to send your document and what the filing fees are. But go back to the top of the form after you've filled it out and you'll see that on the top right it says print form. So click the print form icon and print the change of address form and then you need to submit the change of address form along with a cover sheet and your check for either $5 or $40. Now that you've prepared the change of address form you can't file it unless it's accompanied with another document called a cover sheet. And of course you must also pay the filing fee of $5 for regular filing or $40 for expedited filing. If you want to learn how to prepare the Arizona Corporation cover sheet, watch our demonstration video. You're now ready to file your change of address form. The first thing you need to do is get an envelope and in that envelope you put the cover sheet the statement of change of known place of business that was signed by a member if it's member managed or signed by a manager if the LLC is manager managed and then a check for either five dollars for regular filing or forty dollars for expedited filing the checks payable to the corporation commission then you mail or hand deliver your envelope to the Arizona Corporation Commission the Corporations Division at 1300 West Washington Street, Phoenix, Arizona, 85007. If you have any questions about forming or operating an Arizona LLC, call me or my son Richard C. Keat. We're happy to answer your questions at no additional cost. If you want to hire us, you can either complete our online questionnaire at keatlaw.com forward slash azllclaw forward slash llcq or call my son or myself. If you want us to prepare a custom LLC operating agreement, either fill out our online questionnaire or call my son or myself. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please share it with your friends and hit the like button below. And be sure to subscribe because we make new informational videos every week. If you have any questions or would like a video on a topic, leave a comment below. And thanks for watching.